my students once asked me, how do you kill a generation? I look at the student and smile, and I told him straight in the face, you kill a people by not educating them, but you kill a generation by stopping them to reproduce. You sterilize them. And has it happened? Yes, of course it has happened. Eating food in the society with pesticide residues such as organophosphate and carbamate has sterilized a population. Men moving within a population unable to reproduce because of low sperm count. This is how you kill a population. And this is what has happened within the population. And they are unable to procreate. The organophosphate and the carbamate pesticides. Let's start the show and see how a population is now referred to a lost generation, the generation Z. They cannot reproduce. Let's roll on. Could the inability of sperm to swim effectively be a silent threat to the continuity of the human race? Welcome to an enlightening exploration of sperm mortality, a crucial factor in human population and reproduction. Sperm mortality refers to the ability of a sperm cell to move efficiently. It is like a microscopic marathon where the fittest and fastest sperm swims and race to fertilize the egg. The importance of sperm mortality in male fitness cannot be overstated. For fertilization to occur, sperm must embark on a complex and dangerous journey through the female reproductive tract. This journey requires strength, agility, speed, and precision, all of which hinge on the sperm mortality. Sperm mortality is typically assessed in two ways, progressive mortality and total mortality. Progressive mortality measures the percentage of sperms moving forward in a straight line. These are the sharpshooters, while total mortality includes all active moving sperms regardless of their direction. Unfortunately, reduced sperm mortality is a common factor associated with deadly fungicides and pesticides such as the organophosphates and N-methyl carbamates, while a myriad of factors can contribute to reduce sperm mortality including the environment, temperature, hormonal imbalances, infection, lifestyle, genetic factors. Today it turns out from a brown groundbreaking study by Levine that organophosphate and their use with enmity carbamates are the real true culprits. So couple experiencing difficulties, remember the journey of sperm is intricate and it is highly tied to the food that we consume. It requires that sperms swim with a lot of precision, but this also requires that your food sourcing should be carefully analyzed and ensure that they are safe, eat safe, and avoid poisonous substances. Welcome to Safe Agri Consulting. Safe Agri Consulting. I hope you enjoyed the first segment of the show. In this second segment, we will go to the original article which was published just this month, depicting that men have been sterilized in the Western society, especially in the United States, where pesticides residue such as organophosphate and n carbamate has contaminated the food chain for so long, and now a generation of men which I refer here as Generation Z, are suffering from low sperm count and cannot reproduce. And this is where the big biotech company steps in and make money. Now, it means you can plant children in surrogate women instead of having ch children through the natural process. Or maybe 
they can simply not have children and make pets, dogs, cats, their and 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 snakes. They are they are they are kids. But in this segment of the show, let's understand the implication of sterilizing a whole population, and then what will be the consequences, the teratogenesis in those that even successfully play the beautiful game of nature and score a goal to produce kids. Welcome to Safe Agriculture Consulting. Let's dive into the literature. See you shortly. In the intricate drama of scientific investigation, a revelation of global proportion has unfolded a symphony of 25 studies, 42 levels of impact and the stories of 1,774 men from diverse corners of our planet. The conclusion is stark and urgent. The presence of pesticide is wrecking havoc on male fertility, and it's time to take note and act wisely. Imagine a generation, I mean a lost generation, defined not by their choices but by a silent adversary that rendered them sterile unable to pass on the true legacy of life. Their crime amongst us, simply indulging in the everyday's act of nourishing themselves with food laden with the residues of later organophosphate and N-methyl carbamate pesticides. This seemingly innocuous choice has sealed their fate when it comes to the natural cause of procreation. The saga unfolds in the Journal of Environmental Health Perspective, where Levine and co-authors embark on the global analysis spanning the 20th and 21st century era. Their findings paint a vivid picture of a tight correlation between the application of organophosphate and carbamate pesticides and a decline in sperm count among men. Picture the land from South to Central America, Asia, Africa to Europe, where these pesticides were randomly and freely applied. Over 50 years, the ability of men to father children has plummeted by staggering 50%. This means that a man who has traversed five decades is left with a mere 1 to 10% chance of producing viable offspring. The gravity of this revelation, yes, scientific, is both profound and alarming. As these individuals, unfortunately for them, grapple with the consequences of their ill fate, and dissenting celebration echoes from the headquarters of Big Tech. They applaud their success in producing organophosphate and n carbamates, branding them as safe and effective. A phrase dripping with irony given the undeniable evidence as per Levin's finding that these once tooted molecules of choice has cast a dark shadow on the destiny of men's reproductive health. This clarion call for food safety now echoes with unprecedented urgency here amplified by Safe Agri Consulting. Why peeling? techniques and washing agricultural products can offer a safe heaven by removing residual surface pesticides. The true path to safety lies in vigilance and sourcing of organic foods. In the face of the letdown by pesticides regulatory agencies, the time is ripe for the emergence of independent new food safety rating agencies. This is where Safe Agri Consulting steps in to the narrative, concluding this chronicle with the promise to safeguard the future of our sustenance. It's a call to action, a plea for awareness, and an emphasis on the need for men to understand pesticide science for their well-being. This marks the end of the weekly chronicle. Welcome to Safe Agri Consulting. Welcome back. Now you see how you can use your money, your hard-earned money, and buy food. Yet, it becomes a poison. You lose your health, whereas the big biotech company will eat on your sweat. But, what can you do? 
That's why pesticide education is very critical and for everybody knowing a little bit about agriculture and what is put in their food in the form of pesticides, insecticides and fungicides is critical because that's the only guarantee that you can eat safe or you grow your food. Even if you are in California, New York, Pennsylvania, grow your food and then stay tight with safe agri consulting because things like this we will discuss them in this show and dissect it and present the facts alternative facts from what you get from the mainstream media therefore i can only say if you like the content in this video like and subscribe that is what would make us produce more interesting content like this and then eat safe stay safe and always know this as safe agri consulting we talk about food safety food technologies and the economic dynamics of food. See you next time. It's safe. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Who will eat this poisonous food? It may be a disturbing question, yet it's one that we must confront. The answer is unfortunately you. The persuasive use of harmful organophosphate and n carbamate pesticide in agriculture has cast a dark shadow over our food system with a particular sinister impact on the reproductive health of men. First and foremost, let's dive into the crops that are on the level of these active ingredients. Pages number one. Tomatoes, peppers, potatoes, carrots, lettuce, and a myriad of leafy greens are commonly fortified with organophosphate and n carbamate. Number two, fruits. Yes, apples, oranges, grapes, strawberries, citrus fruits are also protected by these pesticides in nations that are not regulated. Number three, grains. Fuels of wheat, corn, rice, and barley are given a robust defense against pests through the applications of these poisonous pesticides. Number four, legumes, soybeans, peas, and beans vulnerable to pests are also shielded by these chemicals. Number five, cotton. The delicate fibers of cotton, the integral portion of the textile industry are also safeguarded by these pesticides. Number six, tubers. Sweet potatoes and regular potatoes, staples in many diets are protected by these. And finally, number seven, nuts. Picture your almonds, walnuts, pistachios, essential for culinary wonders are also secured by the application of organophosphate and n carbamates. These seven groups of crops are the ones most influenced by these pesticides. But the blame doesn't lie with the pesticides itself. The regulatory bodies that sanction the production and sale of these pesticides have let us down. They have failed to provide a balance that is needed to protect harvest and the need to minimize the potential risk to livestock and human consumers. It is a sad tale of affairs where government agencies fail to protect the people. We need independent food certification agency to stand up for our safety. Welcome to Safe Agri Consulting. Support safe agricultural practices stand up for a healthier future for all of us it's time to make a change it's time to demand better